before I go into the details and explain what a shareholders agreement is, I think we all agree that um, shareholders disputes are amongst the most common cause that would destroy a company or its business. A shareholders agreement can probably prevent the company being destroyed by disputes between the shareholders. A shareholders agreement is the fundamental and most important agreement between the company and its shareholders which governs the operations of the company, the relationship between the company and the shareholders, and also it sets out clearly the rights and obligations of the different parties to the agreement, which include the shareholders, which would be the founders and the investor, and the company itself. And the shareholders agreement would also provide a set of pre-agreed solutions to any potential shareholders' disputes. Shareholders' agreements generally tend to treat all the shareholders fairly and equally and ensure that all the shareholders' rights are protected. It lays out the general rules as to how a company should be operated and managed, while the day-to-day -day operation decisions would be left to the directors and the senior management of the company. Now, people would ask, a company already has a set of articles of association, then why need the um, shareholders' agreement? Well, the Articles of Association is generally a public document which is registered with the in Hong Kong with the uh, company's registry where everyone can retrieve the document and, and see what their articles um, set out. A shareholders agreement, on the other hand, um, contains provisions that are mandatory um, and also non-mandatory provisions that you can adjust freely um, to suit your the needs of your company and your operations. And most importantly, a shareholders agreement does not need to be registered with the company's um, registry. So it can remain a private document unless you want to amend your articles and um, incorporate some of the terms of the shareholders agreement into your articles. Then it becomes, part of it becomes a public document. A shareholders agreement will normally also address areas of disputes um, which are common among shareholders, which would include the right to nominate directors, um, what happens if the company is, is in need of um, funding for future business development, etc. and etc. It is also quite interesting to see how people would generally neglect the importance of having a shareholders agreement, as they would consider it is not necessary to have a shareholders agreement because we are all good friends, we trust each other, we, don't, we won't have any disputes. But then when, when they actually run into disputes with their friends, um, they, would tend, they would come and regret that, oh, why I didn't have a shareholders agreement. And now I don't have anything to fall back on to, resol to resolve the uh, issues. 